How are you? Everybody, hello? How's everybody doing? I see Shirley Clark in here. I see Lottie and Martha. Debbie Parker is back. Hello? How's everybody doing? Give a thumbs up on the way in if you have not done so. You might need to back out for a second to give a thumbs up and then come back in. How y'all doing today? Debbie Parker says, hello everyone. How are you, Debbie? I don't see any messages. Hi, Maddie, how are you? Maddie Watts is back. Are you all excited? Karen Johnson is here. She says, hi, baby girl. How are you, Karen? Good to see you all here. Give a thumbs up on the way in. Gina, glad you are feeling better. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm so grateful to God. Ron Wilson is here. Hello, how are you? Precious, how are you? Hello. Michael the Game is here, says hello. Connie, hello. Debbie Sinclair, how are you? Nolita Porter says hi, Gina. Lanilla, Lanilla C, hello. Sonia is back. How are you? Kimber, hello. Give a thumbs up on the way in. How's everybody doing today? I hope you all are just as excited as I am. So today we're going to be making um, stuffed bell peppers, and we're going to have so much fun making these peppers. This, by far, is a really simple, easy recipe, and it hardly costs anything to make this recipe. Debbie Norris, how are you? Hello, Mildred, how are you? How you feeling, Mildred? Nessa, Nessa Jones is here, hello, sunshine. Thank you. Wendell is here, Sister Gina, hello from Las Vegas, Nevada, hello. Wanda McMorris, hello, Quincy, hello. Renee P. is here. How are you, Renee? Valencia says hello to everyone. Let me see. I don't, uh, hold on, guys. I don't know if I want it that big because I want to be able to see myself as well. You know, you know what I mean? So. PH Balance is here. Hello. Alyssa Wooten is back. I, I gotta I gotta get back in the in the swing of things. <laughs> I feel like I've been going forever in a day. But I'm back in full effect. And I got God on my side. How do you feel, says Serenity? I feel pretty good today. Now, I can honestly say, like 15 minutes before it was time to go live, my stomach started. I started getting the bubble guts. <laughs> But I feel great. I feel so great. And thank you all for all of your prayers, all of your messages and your get well messages. Thank you all. Thank you, Wanda McMorris. Okay, so listen, what we're going to do um, is we're going to wait. Uh, I'd like to say maybe a good seven, eight minutes for a couple more people to come in. And once more people come in, and the thumbs up matches with the people that's in here. We'll get started cooking Gina Young style. We're making stuffed bell peppers here at the Young's house. You don't want to miss this recipe. It's so stinking easy, so fun to make, and it's delicious. I'm trying to fix the lighting here. Opal Fields is here. How are you? Sharon Roan, hello. Miss Karen, hello. Authora, Althea. <laughs> Paul Freed, hello. Kevin, hello. Stacy and Minerva is back. How you guys feeling today? It's been a while since you've seen me. <laughs> Catherine, how are you? Karen, hello. Oh, you're making zucchini bread. Let me see what you just said. Hi, Gina. Made your zucchini bread, girl. It was the best. Oh, you made. The zucchini bread and it was the best. Oh, that's great. Okay, is that is that bigger? Okay, yeah, that's good. You go ahead. Um, 
plug it in over there where it needs to be plugged at so I can have it when I'm ready. I'm happy to see you all today. So glad that I feel so much better. Glad you are all. Oh, thank you, Joy Sanders. Queen Nestor Prince says, hi, Gina. Nice to meet you. Hello. Welcome to my channel. Queen Nestor. Everybody, welcome Queen Nestor to Gina Young's channel. Miss Gina, uh, you were very much missed. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. And, I, and same for you all. I missed you guys so, so, so much. Okay, so Mildred says, I'm doing fine, Gina. Thanks for asking. I was in the middle of reading the Shack book. Oh, my goodness. But I must attend. <laughs> okay. I miss you, too. Oh, wow. Listen, you let me know. Email me anytime. If you want to talk about the book or you have a question or you just want to say, oh, my goodness, Gina. I'm on this chapter, and they're talking about this. You, you know, let me know how the book is going. Okay. Where is the doggies? Well, listen, the doggies, they're under the, kit, the dining room table. Um, today they have vaccinations. So they got a big round of updated vaccinations that they get every year. And uh, when they first come home, they have a whole lot of energy and they're really excited. But then that diminishes and they start to kind of feel a little sick for a couple hours. Tomorrow they should be up and going again. So right now they're just laying down. They don't really feel good. But that has always happened with them when they get their vaccinations. Am I making chocolate chip cookies? Yes. I'm making chocolate chip cookies um, Saturday. Saturday I'm making chocolate chip cookies. We're going to give it about four more minutes. Give a few more people to give a thumbs up. A few more people to come in and get their ingredients all together. And we're going to get started cooking stuffed peppers Gina Young style. Thank you, Grace. Snowy Rain is here. Hello. Dorothea. Rosie is here. Let me see. And she says hello to everyone. Sonia, how are you today? Um, love you, baby. Be careful, okay? Uh, we missed you, says Renee P. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you so much. I greatly appreciate it. About three more minutes, we're gonna get started, so make sure you have all your ingredients out. Oh, I don't see him either, Ron. You said, where is Derek Eads? I don't see him. Maybe he'll come in a little bit later. Glad you're back, praise God. Hello, Eula. Kimber is saying I missed you. Thank you, guys, thank you. It took a lot out of me to get, now, now here's the thing. If you were to ask me, Gina, do you feel 100% better? I don't, <laughs> you know, but, but we're getting there. You know, I'm not 100% because I still got some iron issues. My iron is still trying to get, you, you, you know, get where it needs to be. So until my iron gets worse than where it needs to be, we're gonna have some up and down days, you know. But, but, but we, Listen, with God on our side, we're going to be okay. Hello, Raymond. How are you? He says he's making ground turkey sliders tonight. Oh, my goodness. That sounds good. Sharon said, oh, thank you, Sharon. Let me cough, guys. <coughs> you may hear me several times during this live cough. Um, I have some hand sanitizer near me that I will be using often, okay? I'm new. Buffy, hello. Buffy Jackson. Everybody welcome Buffy to Gina Young's channel. Okay, and I say two more minutes. We're going to get started. Bring them thumbs up up. Make the thumbs up match with the people that's in here. I know who's in here. Some of you didn't give a thumbs up. <laughs> give me a thumbs up on the way in. Thank you all for welcoming Buffy and welcoming all of the new subscribers. Welcome to all of the returning subscribers. I love you guys. <coughs> all right. Let me get my apron on. There's a lot of people saying hello to Buffy. Thank you all.
I missed you too. I, I'm not gonna push too hard. Not gonna push too hard. <laughs> Everything that I do, I'm gonna do it with God on my side, okay? All right, now what I need you, got, you all to do is, I want you all to let me know. Um, let's go ahead and put the microphone in right now, okay? You're gonna hear um, where the microphone goes dead, like, you know, um, you're gonna lose sound just like for less than a minute, and it'll come right back on after I get this uh, microphone plugged in. Okay, you should be able to hear me right about now. Can you guys hear me? Can everybody hear me? Valencia, Ricky Cole, hello, sounds great. Okay, thank you. I'm washing my hands up. We're gonna get started, okay? Let's flip this camera around right about now. All right. Yes, looks great, okay? This is exciting. I'm glad to be back in the kitchen, y'all. I'm glad to be in the kitchen. The most I've made when I was sick was a, I made a big breakfast one day, and I made the fried potatoes. You know, I made the egg, cheese egg, sausage, and all that good stuff, and I burnt my sausage because I couldn't smell it. It was like the worst thing, right? <clears throat> I'm grabbing my hand sanitizer, like I said, just in case I happen to cough, or I can just wash my hands here at the sink, you know. <clears throat> All right, let's take this computer and put it over here where it belongs. Hold on, let me refresh things. Refresh. All right. Moving in the right direction, guys. Let me... Okay. All right, so now let me get my hands washed up. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean. We're going to have a good time here at the Young's house. Somebody please tell me right now if the lighting is good. If it's not good, I'll tweak it and make it look better, okay? You know she was sick if she could not smell. Huh? Yes, I could not smell. Ron, it was the worst. So I, I burnt the corn one day. Cool. It was just corn. I couldn't smell a doggone thing. And I burnt the sausage. It was the worst. You never know how much you need your senses until you lose them, you know? And it's crazy because the test that I took told me that I didn't have the C. You know, you y'all know what the C is. And I, I just kind of questioned that because with the regular flu, you don't lose your, your sense, you, you know, your smell. All right, let me get my hands nice and clean, guys. So the vet, the vet told us, I'm going to have to go in the laundry room for a second and grab some paper towels. But when, uh, when I go in there, you'll still be able to hear me talking because I got the microphone on. Um, but the vet, they told us that we need to get the dogs um, neutered. And they said we should do it right away. They said because... Um, one of the puppies is showing something. I don't know what, what it, what exactly what they're showing. Um, that, uh, I don't even know how to explain it really. <laughs> One of the puppies is showing something. I don't know if it was in their urine or, or what, it, but they need to get neutered right away. So we're gonna be scheduling that and that will happen soon. And uh, Prince has another tooth that he has to get taken out that was a baby tooth that should be out of his mouth. So we're going to schedule that as well. Are y'all ready? <laughs> Are y'all ready? Yeah, you said the tests aren't always accurate. I know, I know, I know. And everybody was like, well, Gina, go to the hospital and get, you know, like another test. I tell you what, I was so sick. I, I was so sick. I, I didn't feel like getting up and leaving out the house. Okay, listen, can I, can you guys give me red hearts in the comment section to let me know, give me an idea 
of who all is going to be cooking with me today. If you're cooking with Gina Young today, give me some red hearts in the comment section so I have an idea who's going to be cooking. Thank you, Sonia. Yes, I do. I love those puppies. Oh, my goodness. And now I love my fish. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Okay, all right, this is exciting. There's a lot of people going to be cooking. Okay, okay, you're just watching as usual. Alyssa, that's fine. I just enjoy having you all here, you know, whether you're cooking or you're not, it's just nice to have you all. Okay, so now I'm going to go over the ingredients. I don't have my cheese out, but you know we're using a shredded mozzarella cheese. Okay, give a thumbs up on the way in if you have not done so. Uh, back out of the live, give a thumbs up, and then come back in. So now you're going to need one pound of ground meat, whether that's ground turkey, ground chicken, or ground beef, okay? So I have some spices, <coughs> excuse me, and the spices is just salt, pepper, and garlic powder, okay? I do ha have some bell peppers here, and we're going to cut them in half. There has been times where I would just cut the top off, and stuff them, but I feel like they're too big. So we're gonna cut them this way. We're gonna cut them this way and stuff them, okay? So we got some beautiful bell peppers here. I need to cough. <coughs> <coughs> and then I'll come back and wash my hands, okay? Y'all just have to work with me on the cough. I don't know how long this cough will actually be with me, you know? But we're going to work our way through it with God on our side, you know? Okay, so now I have a really interesting ingredient, really, really interesting ingredient. We're using rice aroni. Listen, when G.D. Young is making something, I try to make whatever I'm making the most flavorful that it can be, <laughs> if that makes any sense. And therefore, I'm using rice aroni. In a, any kind of rice aroni you like to use, you, might, you may like the Spanish rice aroni, you may like uh, the chicken flavored rice aroni, any of those rice aronis will do the trick for this recipe, okay? Now, if you weren't able to find the gandules, which is AKA pigeon peas, this is my favorite pea. And I love to mix it in with my hamburger and my rice aroni. If you couldn't find this, then, uh, you uh, can use the black beans. I only have the black beans out just to let you know that if you couldn't find it, you can use black beans, okay? So we'll set that aside. We got some salt, pepper, garlic powder. We got a small can of tomato sauce, okay? And then we have a can of corn, okay? You can use frozen corn if you want. So now, and also we're going to need an onion. The first thing that I want you all to do is I'm going to show you how I like to cut the bell peppers. We'll go ahead and get the bell peppers cut, okay? And we're going to take the, um, the vein and the seeds out of the bell pepper, and, and then we'll start on our hamburger. And cooking with our hamburger, we're going to put a little tiny bit of onion in with your hamburger and cook it together for flavor, okay? Are you with me? What are we cooking, says Brandy. Brandy, we are making stuffed bell peppers, okay? All right, so now let's go ahead and um, I'm going to show you how to do this. Now, let's just say you're the person that wants to stuff your bell pepper up this way. If you do, you just cut the top off, just a nice slice, cut the top off, and we're going to stuff it, and you set it in your bacon dish this way, okay? I'm doing it different this year, though, okay? I like to leave the stem on, but here's what we're going to do. We're just going to, can you guys see me? Let me look in the camera. Oh, yeah, you can see me. We're just going to slice right down the middle. Okay. How about it? And this is what you have, like little tiny boats. I like this much better than it sitting up this way getting stuffed. Okay. So you have the veins and the seeds in there. Just go in with your fingers and rip it out. Okay, and it's so simple, you know. Um, you could use a spoon, of course, to take the seeds and the veins out, but really just grabbing it 
and just pulling it out will do the trick, okay? So get it all out, pretty simple. All right, beautiful bell peppers. Uh, this is a dish, it's hearty, it doesn't cost a lot, and delicious. You know, and honestly, even kids like this recipe, you hear me? So now we're going to be using a baking dish. If you don't have a baking dish, feel free to use um, any oven proof pan that you may have that can go into your oven. So I have this, it's like a 9 by 12, okay? And I'm just going to set this right into my baking dish, okay? I'm going to get the contents out of all of these. Let's do it together. How's everybody doing? Everybody doing okay? All right. I'll, I, I will time to time. I'll come in and, and read the messages, okay? But I want everybody to know that I'm only one person, and it, it's, it's kind of difficult for me to read every single message, okay? Welcome, everybody, to Gina Young's channel. We're going to have a fun time today, okay? So look at that. Pretty simple, right? And then just throw it in your pan. Okay? Do all the peppers. Yes, thank you, Mildred. She says, do all the peppers same way. You know, and, and really, honestly, I just have to be honest with you. Um, if I'm not doing a video on the peppers, I just get all one color. You know, most of the time I purchase green bell peppers, you know. But for television purposes and decoration purposes, I'm using the different colors because we want them to look nice on TV, you know. But really, if you just got some green bell peppers at the house, go ahead and cut these babies and use them. But I do want you to keep in mind that every uh, different color bell pepper, they uh, really do have different flavors, believe it or not. And I think that's so interesting. Okay. So what I was doing, you may not have seen, but I was just uh, using my paring knife. But like I said, you can go in with your fingers and rip it out. So I was using my paring knife to cut this part out. But like I said, you can use your fingers to rip it out, okay? Hello. Renee P., how are you? All right, getting the bell peppers, nice. And, and, you know, wash the bell peppers off. Take the time. I wonder why my computer keeps going dim. That never happens to me. All right, look at this. I, I do, see, normally, y'all know how I usually have a, um, uh, one of the disposable pans, the aluminum pans. I don't have that today. So this pan is much smaller. Welcome, Randolph. Thank you for coming in and joining. Everybody, welcome Randolph to Gina Young's channel. If there's a little tiny bit of seeds in the peppers, like that little bit, don't worry about it. Okay, it is, okay? It is just fine. <laughs> but try to get it out as, ma as many as you can, you know. If you have extra bell peppers left over, put them in a Ziploc bag. Use them for an omelet in the morning, you know, or even freeze them and you can use them for like a different dish. You know, you might want to cook something that calls for bell peppers, you know, and you take those bell peppers out the freezer and use them, okay? So what I'm doing is I'm literally over my trash can and I'm putting everything right into the trash can. Look at this. <laughs> oh, this is so exciting, okay? So how you guys doing? Is everybody doing okay? Shirley Clark, how are you? You said, hi there. I'm new to the channel. I love your personality and recipes. And that's Lady Grace. Lady Grace, welcome to Gina Young's channel. Thank you for coming in. Everybody, welcome Lady Grace to Gina Young's channel. Thank you for coming in. Have you all ever cut a bell pepper open and you noticed that there was a, another bell pepper inside of it? That always happens to me. It always happens to me. <laughs> yes, it does. I tell you what, it never fails. 
when I get a bell pepper, I, I, I feel like it, it's like good luck. <laughs> it might not be, but I like to say it is, you know. <laughs> it's kind of like when you crack an egg and you get the double yolks, and I'm like, oh, there it is, good luck. <laughs> do you guys do that? <laughs> or am I just totally nuts? My husband thinks I'm totally nuts. <laughs> good nuts. <laughs> All right, how's everybody doing? Oh, thank you, Tiki. Welcome. Give a thumbs up, give a thumbs up, give a thumbs up to Jeannie Young's live. All right, I'm going to cut my last bell pepper, and then I want to chime in to the comments and see how you all are doing. And the next thing that I'm going to be doing is I'm, I will be grabbing my onion out of the refrigerator, okay? We're going to chop up a little tiny bit of onion, and we're going to put it in with that ground beef and turn the ground beef on. And we're going to put that ground beef on like uh, maybe a medium, medium-high heat, okay, and cook it together with the onion. If you want to go ahead and you're done cutting your bell peppers, feel free to chop up your onion and get your ground beef and onion cooking together, okay? So this is what we have. That's a big old, I tell you what. I know I, I, I really can't fit them all in here, so let's try to make it look right. Okay, let's see. Let's see what we got here. I feel like I need to move one of them, but I, I want all the colors because <laughs> they're all gorgeous, right? Let's see. Come on, Gina. You can fit them in there. Let's see. What can we do? <laughs> like a puzzle. All right, there we go. We're going we're gonna to do it just like that, okay? So now, let's grab our onions. Get your ground beef open. I'm going to do that now. Put the ground beef into just a little frying pan. I'm going to grab that onion, okay? And I'll show you all what we're going to do. <coughs> Excuse me. Where are you, onions? There you are. I'm trying to find a small onion, but there's a whole bunch of big ones in here. So, we'll settle for this one, and we'll just cut a tiny bit of it, okay? Yes, they're very gorgeous peppers. <laughs> All right. Watch this. I'm not using a lot. I'm not going to overwhelm my flavor with too much onion, you know? All right, just a little bit of onion will do the trick. And those of you that don't like onion, there's, believe it or not, there, there's a many people out there that are not fans of onions, that are not fans of garlic. And I guess I can understand it, you know, because I'm not a fan of carrots. And people think I'm totally nuts for not being a fan of carrots, you know. All right, let me see. I see the puppies. They're both sleeping. I, I might try, if you guys can remind me, I'll try to show you the puppies a little later, but keep in mind they're tired and they are just worn out from their shots. <laughs> yeah, big onions and peppers. You know what? Um, when I uh, order my food, I ask for the most beautiful, you know, I just tell them in the message, can you please make sure my mushrooms are gorgeous? Can you make sure my bell peppers or my bananas are, are nice looking? You know, like you've got to ask for what you want. Or if you're doing your own shopping, then you make sure you take the time to get some good looking veggies. When you get good looking veggies, they, they're going to be fresh and they're going to taste better than just any old veggie. You know what I mean? Oh, you don't like carrots either, says Kim. Okay. All right, so you can see I'm putting the onion right on top of that hamburger. We're going to turn it on a medium-high heat. Okay. All right. I want to wash my hands because I definitely don't want these onions to go making me crying. Not today. Oh, you see, Alyssa says, I love onion and garlic, but I don't like carrots either. I can't, I tell you what, I can't stand carrots. But I, I, I do have to say this. If I make a sauce for carrots, I'll put it in there and I'll pick it out. 
But I tell you what, those roasted honey, I, I think they're honey roasted carrots that I made, um, like for the holiday, they are so delicious. I, I'll eat those. Now I'll eat my honey roasted carrots all day because they're delicious. <laughs> all right, just washing my hands a little, getting that onion smell off. And then I'll look at some messages, okay? Okay, somebody tell me you're doing okay, or if you're not okay, let me know. Okay, I don't want to move on without you. I'm turning my pan on to medium high, and we're going to cook it. But we're going to season that meat with salt, pepper, and garlic powder. If you just have salt and pepper, hey, just use that, okay? Oh, yeah, Christopher says, I don't hate carrots. They okay. <laughs> Thank you all for welcoming everyone. Debbie Parker says, won't he do it, Shirley? <laughs> yes, he will. Hello, Ash, Ashian. I hope I'm saying your name right. I don't know if I am. Ashian, Ashian, let me know if I've said that right. Carrots is amazing, says Raymond. Oh my goodness. Okay, listen, let's go ahead. Season these babies right about now. Salt, pepper, garlic powder. Pretty simple, right? Don't be afraid to season. If you're afraid to season your food, good. <laughs> I just have to put that out there. You want your food to taste good, so you got to know how to season, okay? Sometimes people say, man, that's a lot of seasoning. You got to have that seasoning in order for it to taste good. Even if you're just making something simple as a burger. Put some seasoning on it. All right, I'm going to put my salt, pepper, and garlic powder up. Yes, yeah, Saj. Hi, Saj. How are you? She said, got to season the food. Okay, so I have a can of corn, and I got a can of tomato sauce. I'm going to open it, okay? We're not using it right now, but I'm going to open it. Okay? Lynette, how are you? Oh, yeah, she said it's got to be in a dish that acquire it. Yeah. I have so many C's and my lazy Susie is busting out. <laughs> That's Heidi. How are you, Heidi? I'm doing good, Gina, says Saj. Okay, that is great. Great to hear. Okay, so what I want to do... I'm going to go ahead and I want to open up my cans. So whatever cans you have, let's go ahead and open them together. I don't really feel like there will be anybody today that will be behind because this is such a stinking easy recipe. Like it's so easy to follow, you know. If you see me messing with my neck, it's just my microphone. I'm just making sure... My microphone didn't fall off. Sometimes if I bend over, it, it tips my shirt over, you know. We need 120 thumbs up, says Ron. Thank you, Ron. Give a thumbs up, guys. Give Jenny Young a thumbs up. You might need to back out of the live to give your thumbs up and then come right back in. We'll still be here. It doesn't cost anything to give a thumbs up. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It's free. So now this, the way I like to do this, it kind of tastes like Tex-Mex flavors because I'm putting that, your, either your black beans or your gandules, uh, pigeon peas in there, and corn, which is really interesting for this recipe. So now those of you that are familiar with me, you will know that I do make a recipe. Hold on, guys. Let me check this message. Okay, so for, you, for those of you that are familiar with me, you will know that I make a recipe where I cook ground beef um, and rice aroni. I mix the two together, and I put scrambled eggs in it, and that right there is a dish alone, and it is by far one of my family's favorite recipes. It's simple. Cook the ground beef, 
cook the rice aroni, mix the two together, scramble up about three or four eggs, throw it in the dish, and you got an amazing dish that your whole family is going to go nuts over. We're stuffing that into these peppers. And then we're going to have a little bit of tomato sauce because stuffed peppers calls for some type of tomato sauce, you know. And then we're going to have some cheese because most people like cheese on their stuffed peppers. <laughs> Gina, I watched your recipe for the shrimp and, oh, listen, who, who's talking about that? Vader May. Okay, let's read it again. Gina, I watched your recipe for the shrimp, uh, to, uh, for the shrimp, tomato sauce, and rice. I'm going to make that tomorrow. Listen, when you make it, you, listen, you got to message me and let me know what you think. I, listen, that is one of my favorite shrimp dishes to make. Doesn't cost anything easy to make, everybody loves it, and listen here, get enough shrimp because your family is going to, listen, they're going to go back for seconds and thirds. You hear me? You never saw peppers that big, <laughs> Jackie B. All right, so I'm getting some great color here onto my meat. I'm just going to take my handy dandy little smasher here. Okay, and let's ground it up a little bit. You know, because we're not making meatloaf. We're not making meatballs. You want the hamburger to be kind of ground up a little bit smaller than what it is. Okay, so that's all I'm doing is smashing it. If you don't have one of these, feel free to use like the side of a spatula and smash your meat down and it'll chop up the same way. Okay, that's what I used for years was the side of my spatula to do the same, the same motion. Okay, so Tony, thank you, Tony. Thank you for coming in. He says, Gina, I love your cooking style. Louisiana, we love our stuffed bell peppers. Okay, okay. I, I feel like I don't make stuffed bell peppers enough. You know, I knew it was on in the running. You know, we always voted on it, but nobody never picked it. So I said, let me go ahead and make some stuffed peppers. And then I said, I've been gone long enough when I was sick. I said, Saturday, I'm giving them a big treat. We're making homemade cookies, Gina Young style. And you guys are going to really have fun on Saturday. I promise you. Nicole, how are you? Okay, okay, so Nicole says, Gina... Mildred needs you to hold a second, okay? Okay, thank you. Okay, Gina, Mildred needs to catch up. Okay, we'll wait on Mildred, okay? So we're not going to go any further. We'll just, listen, we're, it, it's okay. So we'll wait, Mildred, no problem. I just want to tell Mildred what we've done so far, okay? Yes, I can wait on Mildred. Thank you all. Thank you. And thank you for, uh, like, shouting at me with the red because it really caught my attention, you know. Okay, so what we've done, so, yes, Raymond, we're making cookies, homemade cookies. It's going to be fun. Um, and these cookies are so fluffy. They're soft. They're beautiful and so flavorful. Now, Mildred, what we've done so far is we have cut our bell peppers and although I have my peppers in the pan, um, I don't know why I have them in the pan, so I'm sorry about that. Because we are going to boil them. We're going to parboil them for a little bit um, to start the cooking process. That way they don't take forever and a day to get done in the oven. Have you ever had somebody's um, stuffed bell peppers? The inside is delicious and good, but the bell pepper itself, it was hard. Okay, I know how to fix that, and I'm going to show you all in today's live. We're going to boil those peppers, okay? So we are going to remove them out of the um, baking dish. I just kind of have them in there to see how many could fit into my pan, okay? Yes, Sonia, thank you. She says, Mildred, we are here for you. Yes, we are. You bet we are. Okay, so all we've done was we've cut our peppers in half, just like so, okay? All right, take the insides out. You can leave the stem on. 
Okay, take the white part and the seeds out. And then the next thing that we've done is we cut a tiny bit of onion, just like one slice of onion. Put it in with your one pound of ground beef. Okay, and let's cook the ground beef together. And we seasoned it with salt, pepper, and garlic powder, okay? Now you guys let me know when she's ready, and then we'll move on when she's ready, okay? No problem. Ashian, I hope I'm saying your name right. Thank you for coming in. She says we need 171 thumbs up. <laughs> Thank you. Valencia says I never thought to boil the peppers before stuffing them. Yes, you know, and, and, and as you cook, you will learn trial through trial and error because I've made these a million times. And what I found out is I'm not happy with the texture that the bell peppers are when, once my cheese and everything is melted. My pepper's still a little hard. Problem solved. How do we solve it? We're going to boil the peppers in a little bit of salt water, and I'll tell you how long we're going to boil them. And, and then we're just going to cook them just a little bit. You know, I hate opening these cans. They have these pop tops. I always feel like there's going to be a piece of metal to just pop right in my eye. Ooh. Um, so there it is. The problem is solved. You parboil them, then you stuff them, then they get baked. You know? So what I just did right now, only thing I just did was um, I drained my corn and I drained my gandules peas. Okay? Great information. Thank you for sharing. Oh, you're welcome, Tam. Thank you for coming in. Definitely. Hey, listen, I learned the hard way. Inside was good, but the peppers was crunchy. Oh, it, it's, it's totally understandable. Like I said, I had to cook them several times <coughs> to, oh, hold on guys, <coughs> I had to cook those peppers several times until I was able to figure out how to get the peppers nice and soft. But guess what? Now we know. <laughs> we're going to boil them. And we're not going to boil them for long. Okay, but just giving them that head start in the cooking process, it really does help. Tam Johnson has given me flowers and hearts. Thank you. Thank you, Tam, and thank you for coming in and joining us today. Mildred is caught up now. Okay, great. Okay, Mildred and everyone else, what we're going to do next is we're just letting the uh, ground beef and the onions cook up until that ground beef is well done. Okay, we're going to do one thing at a time. All right? So now, I want everybody to grab a pan, a pan large enough so we can boil our bell peppers. Okay? So I'm going to show you what type of pan I decide to use. Let's just see. I'm just going to use this. It's not too deep, OK? We're just going to throw them right in there. You can throw them upside down or however you want, OK? And, and kind of like cover them half the way or you can cover them all the way with water. And we're going to throw, let me show you. Let's put a little bit of salt in here. Not to season, well, or, or, or not to flavor it. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, Gina. Let's fix that, let's fix that. To flavor the peppers, to flavor the water. There we go, there we go. All right, so we put some salt right on top of the peppers. Let's put some hot water on top of your peppers. Yank that baby up on high, and I'll tell you when to take them out, OK? I was kind of fumbling for my words, wasn't I? 
I got a pepper here that really doesn't fit in the pan, but guess what? It'll be okay. You hear me? Trust me. Trust me when I tell you. So I have some really exciting news for you all. And I think what I'll do is I'm going to do a video on it because this is something that you all have been asking for. And um, let me show you what we got here. Can you all see that? We got water. We got salt. Turn this up on high. Okay? Yank the heat up on high, and we're going to keep a good eye on it, okay? Meanwhile, your get it, Gina, says Christopher. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> hey, I'm trying. <laughs> um, meanwhile, we are going to... <laughs> kind of lost track of thought. Um, let's get our meat in our onions. Then we're going to drain it, okay? Turn it up on high. All right, so we got Kira Jackson in here. Zudi says, if that pepper don't fit, I'll take it as is. <laughs> if the pepper don't fit, you'll take it as is, okay? <laughs> we making stuffed bell peppers yes indeedy and yes we are you bet we are all right so now let's go ahead get that ground beef nice and chopped up Chop it up fine as you can. See, if you take a look at my ground beef, it's literally like almost done. And so what I have right next to me is I have um, a colander, and we will be draining our meat because you don't want that excess oil, okay? You don't want to digest the excess oil, okay? Oh, you said Goya is a Christian base. Yeah. I heard some people, um, there was some things going around about Goya, but, you know, I just have to be honest. I use it because I, I need it, you know, and I can't find, like, gandules in a different name brand, you know. Oh, you're ready for the exciting news. Okay. Well, I tell you what, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you what it is. Dakota fixed my... No, 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 no. Okay, there we go. There we go, there we go, there we go. Dakota fixed my computer in such a way. I told him to um, make the, um, the messages bigger for me so I could see it. And he made them way big. <laughs> so therefore, I can't see myself. And I was trying to put myself back into the camera. But I tell you what, as long as you guys can see me, we're in good standing. So my ground beef is... Uh-oh, uh-oh, sorry. <laughs> so my ground beef is done. All right, and here's what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and take the ground beef and drain it. Get the ground beef nice and drained, okay? Drain it in your colander, and then you're going to be putting that ground beef right back into your pan. I forgot to remind you about that, didn't I, honey? Okay. What flavor is the rice roni? The flavor is beef. Now listen, here's what I told you guys earlier. Feel free, because I've done it. Use any kind of rice roni you want to use, okay? Tr trust me on this, okay? Because... Um, I use the chicken flavor, I've used the Mexican kind, and all of them work with this recipe, okay? So now, my beef is nice and drained. I'm going to be putting the beef right into 
right back into the pan, okay? So now, I want to talk to you guys. You should be, right about now, right about now, you should be um, boiling your bell peppers, okay? Getting them boiled. And we plan on boiling them for probably for about seven to 10 minutes, okay? But when you see me take, if you've put yours on when I put mine on, turn them off when I turn mine off, okay? So about, about seven to 10 minutes, okay? My water is finally getting nice and hot here, and I got the heat turned up on high, okay? So I'm gonna turn the heat off on this, okay? And I'm gonna see how everybody's doing. Because if you guys are doing okay, the next thing that I want to do is we got to get started on our rice -a -roni. Okay? Can somebody say, um, I'm ready? Yes, you said the Mexican would taste awesome. Absolutely it would, especially with the black beans and the corn in it. it like I said, it's kind of like a Tex-Mex, you know? Absolutely it is. Beauty world, you're very welcome. Do you ever use plain white rice? Kim, what a great question. I do, but, and I have in the past, um, but I always felt like it needed more flavor. That's just the honest truth. I always felt like it needed more flavor. So one day I discovered that I was gonna put the rice aroni in with it and wham, it was a hit and I said, I'm never going back to the white rice. You know, unless like one of my family members requested and then said, hey, listen here, I like the stuffed peppers, but I want white rice. But that's never happened, so I'm gonna keep on using the rice aroni. Okay? Yes, they do, Ashley. Um, it might not be called, great question, Ashley. It might not be called um, rice aroni, but it is a boxed rice and you cook it the same way. You know, like just a different name brand. I need to wipe my face off, okay, because it's getting kind of hot in here. I'm going to turn the fan back on, and I'll be right back in 1.2 seconds. Okay, I'm just, I know you guys are right with me, so turning the fan back on here. Oh, it wasn't? Okay. All right, guys, just wiping my face down. I mean, two seconds. You missing a shark? Okay, so right, I know you guys can still hear me. Okay. Okay, you said Kiara, she's using beef, rice, and Ronnie. Thank you all. Thank you, um, Sonia, for answering people's questions. All right, guys, my face. Woo! All of a sudden, it just got really stinking hot in here. And when I say hot, it got hot in here. I'll be right back in the camera here in just a second. I'm gonna have to turn, I'm gonna have to turn the arrow and that's how hot it got in here. Okay. All right, let's do this. <laughs> Almost ran right into my husband, my goodness. I didn't even see him standing right behind me. 
All right. Okay, everybody, so now, it was Debbie, okay? Valencia says it was Debbie. When it get hot, that mean you throw, oh yeah, I told, there you go. When it gets hot in the kitchen, that mean you throw it down in that kitchen. You know what, Raymond? I, I, have, to, I have to say I agree to that. Because <laughs> we are throwing down. All right, listen, so now, when I start my rice aroni, I do have, this is fun, says Shirley Clark. Okay, great. I have some oil in the bottom of my pan, and guess what? It's not a lot, seriously. Just pour you a little bit in there. Just enough to coat the bottom, okay? So now, turn your pan on like a medium, medium heat. And I want for you all to take your rice and put it into the oil and we're gonna coat all of our rice in the oil, okay? Just like so in this manner, and now that everything is nice and coated, we're gonna wait for this rice to get nice, beautiful, and golden brown. And it's not gonna take forever in a day, okay? It doesn't take forever. And if you wanna turn it up on medium high, if you're gonna be standing right here, then uh, by all means, absolutely, you can turn it up on medium high if you can keep a good eye on it. But if you're a person that likes to wander and your mind wanders, you know, turn the uh, heat down to medium, okay? That way you can have some give and it won't burn on you, okay? How's everybody doing? Thank you, Sonia. She said take the rice in with the oil. When you, okay, she says, when are you going to open up a restaurant? <laughs> Wanda, how are you? Wanda McMorris is back. Have you tried yellow rice, the Spanish rice style? Yes, I actually make it. I make it homemade and it is so delicious. Yes. Baby, I got some good food cooking here. Okay, I love you, give me a kiss. Mm -hmm. mm. Love you, honey. All right, be careful now. So, we definitely need a Gina Young recipe, says Ashley. <laughs> Thank you, Ashley. I tell you what, when it happens, you guys will be the first to know. You guys are gonna be the first to know. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Ashley. Ashley, thank you so much. It's really, it's so nice to have you join us. Vader, how are you? You says, now the oil is a tweak from the directions. It says, use butter, and I use oil. <laughs> I use oil. You can use butter if you want. I like to use oil. I like the texture that it gives the rice. When you use butter, I, like, don't quote me on this, but uh, me personally, I feel like when I use butter, it makes the rice too soft, okay? Like a whole different texture. When you use the oil, it makes your rice almost like a fried rice. You know what I mean? It gives it a completely different texture, and I love that texture. I like the oil. Great, that was a great comment. Oh, that was so cute, says Tony. I use both, the oil and butter, okay, yeah. Shirley Clark says, the yellow rice is delicious. I'm going to come on here one day and show you guys how to make a Spanish rice. And it's called arroz con, uh, there's a arroz con gandules, which is this. The gandules, the pigeon peas. And arroz con solchiches. And uh, solchiches means sausages, which is the little Vienna sausages. Listen, when I make that, it's a yellow rice. It is the most beautiful rice you ever want to taste in your life. It's like a whole meal in itself. It has meat in it. It has onion. It has sofrito in it. And it is the best. I'm going to come. I, 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 I just might do. Would you guys like a video for that? Or would you like me to go live and make that video for you? So 
I'm just shaking this. I want you to see, look in the pan, so you can literally see how golden brown that rice got. It got beautiful, right? Yes, it did, okay? And I'm so happy with that. Now, our, let me look at this here, and then I'll wash my hands. You, we are gonna need two and a half cups of water. The water that we're gonna need is always cold water. You never wanna start using hot water. Use cold water when we mix that in. I'm gonna wash my hands once again. Oh, okay, let me read. I think you guys are saying go live when you make it. When I make that, I'm definitely gonna make you some Puerto Rican um, uh, pork chops, right? So we'll make the Spanish rice, which is the yellow rice, we'll make some uh, uh, Puerto Rican pork chops and some Puerto Rican potato salad. And listen here, that by far is, oh my goodness, talk about some good eating. That is, that's the color that I live for, okay? So now, we're gonna put two and a half cups cold water, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and grab my thing here measuring cup <laughs> all right go ahead and put two and a half cups of cold water you're going to have a lot of steam come up so i don't want nobody freaking out okay so just back up a little bit okay there's two cups and there's the steam that's naturally going to happen but it will subside okay two and a half cups i'd like to say i have too much Hold on, let's do a number like this so I can get that correct measurement, you know? There we go. Two and a half cups of cold water, and then we're gonna mix in our flavored seasoning packet. Sometimes you will see me always put some beef powder or some chicken powder in with my flavoring packet to give it a little bit more seasoning, but honestly, you don't, need, you don't have to. Oh, you cook this all the time. Oh, Angela, that is amazing. My husband loves this. He just ran out to go pick up Dakota because Dakota goes to that personal trainer. So today was his day to go to the personal trainer, you know, and get his good workout in. He's getting a good, healthy workout in a couple days a week, and he's doing very well, getting nice and healthy and in shape, you know. All right, so now we got the cold water in, we got the seasonings in, yank it up. Once it starts to boil, here's what I want you to do. When it starts to boil, put foil or a cover on top of it, okay? Foil or a cover on top of it. And then we turn it down on low for 20 minutes. Mine's is actually boiling already. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna do exactly what I told y'all to do. Cover it. And, but if you're using foil, you cover it tight, you hear me? Or if you have a nice tight lid. Sometimes you'll even see me put a lid and foil on here. Now I'm gonna take this over to the bigger burner, to the, uh, the big stove behind me. Turn it on low, let it simmer for 20 minutes. And guess what, the peppers? Let's talk about the peppers real quickly. My peppers are done. Okay, so now we have some peppers that have boiled. Go ahead and drain them, okay? Drain them, drain them, drain them, baby. All right, let, let's move the computer out the way of the steam. All right. Are you guys with me? If anybody needs anything and you're not okay or you have a question, I'd like to say now is the perfect time to ask me your question. Yes, thank you, Sonia. Ron Wilson says hello to Grace. Thank you, Ron. Okay. So now, let's talk about what should be happening right about now. What should be happening is your, um, your bell peppers should be draining from the water that they were boiling in, okay? Your hamburger and your onions 
should be done and you should have drained the oil from your hamburger, okay? All right, so we have some beautiful peppers here and I'd like, so I drained them, okay? I'd like to put my pepper, oh, and they're perfect, right? We're gonna put those peppers right into your pan and I just have to be honest with you. If some of them tear on you, don't worry, don't freak out because when we stuff them, the stuffing's not gonna come out of them, okay? Because they have the pan underneath them. Okay, so just kind of make it work. You know how to make it work. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry for the coughing. You all know that I was very sick. And I'm getting over being sick. I don't have a fever anymore, anything like that. Polo, what are you doing, honey? You got to go outside to pee pee? You got to pee pee? Guys, guess what? My pepper just fell right in the trash can. My goodness, my orange one. But guess what? It's okay. No freaking out. No freaking out in the kitchen. You hear me? I was looking at the puppy, asking him did he have to use the restroom, and there went my pepper. <laughs> but it's okay because we have six lovely peppers here, okay? Beautiful peppers, by the way, I might say. All right. So we'll set those there. Okay, I need to know how everybody's doing. It is live, Grace. This is live. We're live here at the Young's house, and we're having a good time. All right? So now, make sure that your rice is cooking on low. Okay? Have your rice cooking on low. I'm going to wipe my stove down behind me. I hate to have a messy stove, you hear me? I hate a messy stove, I hate a messy counter. <laughs> Woo, my husband made some hamburgers last night and I tell you what, there was some of the best hamburgers, you hear me? But he left that stove oily, ooh wee! And I gave him a big old kiss and I told him how delicious the hamburgers were, right? I did. I told him how delicious they were because they were delicious. But did he make a mess? He made a mess. And he didn't make nothing but hamburgers. <laughs> but they was good. They were sure enough good. All right. So now, what I'd like for you to do. Okay, Shirley Clark says, Gina, I love watching all of your recipes and videos. You are amazing. Shirley Clark, you are amazing. And thank you. Thank you um, for watching me for so many years. You have stuck with me and been with me for so long. And it's, it's kind of like we're family. And I feel like that with all of you guys. And I'm so grateful. I, I love you guys so much. Thank you all so much. <laughs> and Shul says, how are you, Gina? I'm fine. Are y'all laughing at what I said about my husband? He made a mess. He had, I don't know how oil was everywhere. Oil was on, oil, <laughs> guys, I don't even have to tell, oil was everywhere, but like I said, the hamburgers was juicy. <laughs> and, and, and later on that day, so uh, I think it was late at night, I started to clean the kitchen up, and I was thinking, what the heck did he do in here? That he got oil everywhere. <laughs> but they was good hamburgers, you know? I love you too, Renee, thank you. You have five seconds to take the pepper out. Oh, on the five second rule, that is so funny. Now listen, that right there, that is funny. You know, I just watched it drop and I was thinking, no, I can't. no, uh-uh. That, that thing would go viral if I reached down there and grabbed that pepper. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all be like, oh my gosh, this girl is totally nuts. <laughs> no, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> but it is funny. <laughs> okay, listen, so what I want you to do, well, our, um, let me make sure I can set this over here. Yeah, while our rice is cooking, remember it'll be done in 20 minutes. I want you to make sure you've drained either. Now, if you, let's talk about this. If you are using the black beans, 
The black beans doesn't come in like a liquid like this does. I drained the liquid off of the gandules, okay? If you're using black beans, it comes in like a brine. I want you to rinse your black beans. Rinse them off with cold water, and then you'll proceed about using them, okay? All right. Uh oh, Lizzie says, Gina, I, I would have used the pepper. <laughs> I would have used it. <laughs> listen, okay, so listen, here's one thing that we can do. I hope you have your tomato sauce nice and open. Um, I'm going to pour a little bit of sauce in the bottom of the pan. <clears throat> Not a whole lot, just a little bit so that your peppers don't stick to the pan, okay? And it gives the bottom of your pepper some great flavor. Okay, I'm not pouring the sauce on the pepper. I'm pouring the sauce in the pan, okay? And then I'll put my pepper back down. Just a little bit of sauce because uh, we're, we're, we're really not trying to coat the bottom of the pan. You just want a little bit of sauce in the bottom, okay? Um, now, save you some because we will be putting tomato sauce on top of our peppers after we get them nice and um, filled, okay? So you see I used about half the can, poured the tomato sauce on the bottom. Okay, is everybody with me? I'll look at some messages right now. Cut in separate dish for me. Rinse it off, <laughs> Lizzie. <laughs> Rinse it off and cut it in a separate dish for me. I know, I, I know, I totally know. You're so funny. I feel like I know y'all your, your personality, or personally. Let's see, let me read that again, Carol. I feel like I know you, y'all personally. Okay, yeah, you know what, here's the thing, Carol. When you come in here, I, I understand what you're saying, because when you come in here, I want to welcome you all. Because, like I said, once you come in and you join Jeannie Young's Live or you join my videos, you become my family. And I'm going to treat you as such. Like, I appreciate you guys. I love you all. And you can, when you come to Jeannie Young's Live, you come as you are. You ain't got to dress up. You know, you ain't got to talk a certain way. You ain't got to be a cert certain ethnic. You just come in as you are. And Jeannie Young is going to love all on you. I love you guys, and I appreciate you guys, and that's why I try my best to interact with you. Um, sometimes it is hard um, to see all the comments, and I might miss a lot of people, um, messages, a and some people don't understand, you know, that I can't read every message, but I try my best, you know. <clears throat> but thank you for coming in. So if you ever keep messaging me and I don't see it, I'm so sorry. But I try my best when I can, you know. Cat lover, I didn't see cat lover in here. Thank you, Brandy. Brandy says your hair looks gorgeous. Thank you. Um, I, in order for my hair to look nice, I have to, wa I washed it, and I let it air dry, like 75%. And then I took a diffuser and a little bit of leave-in conditioner to keep my curls, you know. And, and with it becoming fall time, and it's not so humid out there, you will see that my curls stick a little bit more than they did in the summer. If you look at some of my videos in the summer, I'm like, weep, you know? <laughs> my hair is like, boom, because it's so humid, I can't do nothing with it, you know? Thank you. Oh, thank you, Denise. Ron says hello to Xander. Hey, Ron, how is Kathy doing? Oh, thank you, Shirley. Come on, as you, oh, thank you, Sonia. Oh, Saj, oh, is Saj saying she has heartburn? Saj, I tell you what, I have, okay, so I'm going to be telling my doctor that I have heartburn every single day. It don't matter, it doesn't matter day, morning, evening, night, I have heartburn. They prescribed the medicine for me and it wasn't working, but I feel like they can give me something else because like right now I have heartburn and it's so frustrating. So I understand how you're feeling. <coughs> Everyone is so inviting. Thank you, Ashley. 
Kathy goes Tuesday for her kick. Okay. Okay, I'm praying. Tell Kathy I love her from the bottom of my heart. We are all praying for her. Absolutely. She's doing great. Okay. Almost a million subs. God bless. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, um, that is, uh, uh, Lynette says, that's acid reflux. Um, they have told me that I have acid reflux. And that's why, oh, come to find out, that's why they gave me the inhaler. It wasn't that I was actually having an asthma attack, but they said it's going to sometimes feel like it when you have acid reflux. So they gave me the albuterol inhaler to take, you know, but hey, listen, this too shall pass. That's how I look at everything, you know. That, that's how I have to look at everything. Oh, is that right? You said that apple cider vinegar is good for it. Okay. <clears throat> oh, she said thank you and she loves me too. Okay, great. Lizzie, thank you. Oh, I see a great picture of you, Lizzie. What a beautiful picture. Thank you for the super chat. Xander Dog says, hi, Sonia. This live is fire. And always, Gina, turn up the heat in that kitchen, Gina Young style. <laughs> okay, thank you. Lily, hello. How are you? Thank you for coming in. So now, it's been about, I'd like to say it's been about maybe 12 minutes for the rice aroni. We'll let it cook a little bit longer, and then we'll go in and check on it. Matter of fact, I'm going to check on mine right now. Okay. You're not supposed to open it. You're supposed to just let it cook for 20 minutes, leave it alone, have it on simmer, you know, and then you open it. But I'm checking on mine. <laughs> I got to. I wouldn't be Gina Young if I didn't check in on it. Okay, yeah, we got a whole lot of water in there. You know, I, I just wanted to let you know, and I had to check on it. Okay, we got a lot of water, and we got probably about a good 12 more minutes left or 15 minutes or so. Okay, I do want to put some hand lotion on my hands because they're really dry. You know, once the weather starts getting cold, my hands get dry. Yes, they do. Just put, okay, let me see. Put, uh, put, Margaret says, praise God, I just put everything in his hands and leave it and he takes care of me. You bet, Margaret, absolutely. Absolutely. Alan, how are you? Thank you for coming in. Hello, Jerry. Jerry Smith. Oh, Gavis, Gaviskin. I can't really say that, but I know what you're talking about. And you said it's good for heartburn. Okay, I'll definitely try it. It is hoodie weather, and I love to wear a good hoodie. Oh, you take Prilosec. I, I, I've actually had that before. When you was younger, you was there several times thinking I was having a heart attack. Oh, yeah, thinking he was having a heart attack, and it was acid reflux. Yeah, yes, it, it is very uncomfortable. Uh-huh, it is very uncomfortable because, you know, you kind of feel it in this area here, you know, here, here, and it's like, what the heck is going on, you know, and if you don't go to the doctors, you might not know, but it might only be acid reflux, you know. But yes, absolutely, I know what you're saying. I enjoy watching the mass Singer. I know the harp is Amber Rowley. I can't tell by the voice, especially from Glee. Okay. I want to cough, guys. <coughs> <coughs> I tell you what. <coughs> I'm coming back in <coughs> to wash my hands. But I tell you one thing, I sure will be glad <clears throat> when this cough right here that I have is over. Ooh, I want this cough to be over. Somebody let me know, listen. Somebody let me know, have you had um, gandules before? If you never had it, you are going to totally love this in any rice. Any rice dish that you make, try putting uh, gandules in it. 
Gondoulets is my favorite, my favorite, my favorite piece. I love it so much I can just eat it right out the can. It has a really distinct flavor, a great flavor. I just, I adore these gandules. Oh, you got, Shirley Clark says she's got it too. Isn't that something that so many people have the acid reflux? Yeah, uh, Grace says nowadays these coughs last forever. And yeah, they do. They really do. Got the corn. Are there anybody that's going to be using um, <clears throat> black beans? You said, little bro Christopher, I will throw on me some joggers and a nice hoodie and I'm set. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that sounds like, kind of like me. Well, I'm like a jean person. I don't really wear sweatpants. Sometimes I wear sweatpants. Thank you, Renee. Thank you, Renee, so much. <laughs> oh, you're using black beans. Okay, Lily, make sure you rinse them off because the black beans have like a, um, they're in a brine, you know, versus these are in water, so I just drained them, okay? And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be mixing our hamburger in with our riceroni. And then we're going to put some gandules, and we're going to put some corn in there, and then everything goes right in there. Okay, and then we're going to top it off with a little tiny bit of tomato sauce on the top, your favorite cheese on the top. We're going to bake them babies in the oven. And guess what? We don't have to bake them long because the filling is done, and the peppers are half the way cooked. What do you think about that? What do you think about that? Oh, thank you, Freddie. <clears throat> Says, I love the fall decorations in the background. Thank you. Oh, you just got over a sinus cough and it took forever. Yes. My husband, Jamie Johnson, hello. My husband um, and Dakota, they still have like a lingering cough, you know. I'm guessing it'll take a while. I feel like what's really making me cough right now is because I have a fan on me right now. Yes, pepper, pepper jack cheese, any kind of cheese. Listen, if you've got Kraft Singles or any kind of cheese you want to put on top, any kind of cheese you want to put on top, it'll work, okay? Ah, oh, take sea moss. I think everyone suffers from, oh, is that right? Is that what you think? Yeah. Oh, you use Prevacid for your bad heartburn. Did it work? I'm using black beans. Oh, yeah, okay. That's great. Like I said, black beans goes perfect. Gandules goes perfect. Both of them. So, like, if you ask me which one was the best, I, you know, just because I love these, I would favor these. But if I don't have these, I use those. So, you know. Oh, okay, Ron says, the cough varies. He said, I had the cough for three months, then it got better, then it, oh my goodness, then it started back up. Oh. Oh, you got so many pairs. I, I wonder how it would look in joggers. I, I don't know. I'm like a, I'm like a, I'm a straight tennis shoe person, t-shirt, um, jeans, hoodie. You rarely, rarely, rarely see me dressed up, dressed up, dressed up, you know. Although I, I, you know, although I do my makeup, but when it comes to dressing up and wearing heels and stuff like that, listen, I would break my whole body if I decide to put on heels. I can't walk in heels. And my husband looks at my foot because I have a, um, a high arch in my foot. You know, my arch in my foot is like this. And he's like, you, your foot is just like, a, it's like, like it's built like a high heel. And I'm like, well, I sure can't wear any. And we just laugh because I, I will. I'll break my neck trying to wear some heels. <laughs> you look nice in them. No. I can't, I can't wear them. <laughs> 
because I will fall. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Let me, let me check on my stuff, guys. Hold on. We're going to check this rice, okay? And you can check your rice as well. Please keep in mind. Oh, my rice is done. Oh, yeah, baby. Rice is done. So now I got some steam. So, you know, kind of be careful with the steam. Okay, let's let it cool down for just a second, okay? My rice is done. Your rice should be just about done, if not, you know. When you see no water at the bottom, your rice is done, okay? Oh, you keep me some Mucinex. Oh, yeah, surely. We have the Mucinex, and my husband said it's really working. And, and so uh, we've been using that, and we've also been using the uh, Theraflu. Let me grab uh, something real quick, and then let's put everything together and get this stuff in the oven, okay? We're going to get everything in the oven. Oh, you had to turn your air on today. Oh. I'm still with you. I ain't going too far, guys. Happy Thursday to everybody. I hope you guys are having a great time right now. I can see your messages from where I'm at. Okay, I'm coming right back into the equation. My husband and Dakota should be on their way back from the trainer, personal trainer. All right, let's do this. So now, we got rice aroni. We got hamburger and onions. Okay? Take your hamburger and onions and you mix it right in. Make sure you've drained your hamburger and onions, okay? Very important. It's very important that it was drained. Now let's mix in our rice in our hamburger. <laughs> and, and listen, here's what I want you all to do. Listen to me. Listen to me. I want you all to taste this right here, okay? This mixture right here, taste it. After you mix in the hamburger, taste it, okay? And let me know what you guys think. And just imagine that with this same recipe right here without the peppers, I scramble about five, four to five eggs and put it in here, scramble, and, and that's a dish alone. Okay, so if you have any extra left over, eat this alone. Or you can put whatever's left in the bottom of your pan and then the cracks of your, you know, in the empty spots of your pan, okay? So now, take your gondoles or your black beans and you put in as much or as least as you would like. I'm putting a whole can of the gondoles, the pigeon peas, right into my mixture here. You don't have to use a full can of black beans. You can use, excuse me, a little bit less if you like, okay? Or use the whole can, you know, all depending on how much you like, okay? So right now you should have the burger, the rice, and the beans all mixed in. And I'm only going to use a half a can of my corn, okay? All right, I don't want too much corn. But please, feel free to use as much corn or as least as you would like to use. Look at this. I tell you what, I'm tasting it. I'm tasting it. I am. Let me mix this up. I'm tasting this baby right now. Oh, this is so good. I'm tasting it. I'm tasting it. And I want some of the beans and the corn. Mm, 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 mm. Mm -hmm. mm. mm. This right here, 
This is the stuff. Oh, yes, and it's so good. You hear me? Mm, mm, mm. All right. Let me refresh. You're making me hungry. I can almost smell it. Okay, let's see here. Take it. Oh, Derek Eves is here. Great. Hi, Derek. Welcome back. Okay, listen, let's get it in there. You pack it filled if you want. You overflow it if you want. Or you can just put in a nice amount. Okay, it's really up to you guys. How much you want to put in? Hold on, guys. I'm getting a funny signal here. Okay, great. We're back in effect, right? Look at that. You pack that rice mixture into your bell pepper. Oh, it's so good. And like I said, whatever's left over, put it in some type of dish. Take it to work tomorrow. You know, whatever's left over. Or put It's delicious by itself. It's delicious in the peppers, okay? Trust me when I tell you this. You got to trust me. Yes, we was, Derek. We was wondering. We said, where the heck is Derek? <laughs> Where's Derek Eads? <laughs> Half of the corn, sure. Yes, Sonia, thank you. Okay, so I know, I know what I'm doing with the extra of my rice mixture. I'm going to cover it up in this pan, and my husband's going to eat his this way, because he loves it that way. He puts hot sauce on it, and he goes to town. You hear me? Yeah, so like I said, please don't throw away that extra, okay? Take it to work tomorrow morning. Look at this. Stuff your peppers high to the ceiling if you want. Or just put a little bit in, okay? All right, we got some gorgeous stuffed peppers right here. So now, are you guys ready to move on? Let's see, I will attempt to make these again. First time I made them was a huge fail. Oh my goodness, okay. Well, I tell you what, the, you can see how easy this recipe is. All right, look at this. And, and you know what, I have to taste this again. I'm sorry. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. But when I taste it, I'm not sorry, because that right there is so good. Oh, it's so good. Mm -hmm. I'm going to cover that up, because like I said, my husband's going to come home and go nuts over this right here. Okay, so now I want you all to take some tomato sauce. You can pour it on top if you want. I'm going to pour mine's on top, okay? But you don't have to, okay? So it's really up to you. If you want to do a Gina Young style, you just put just a little bit of tomato sauce on top, okay? Don't, don't get nuts with it, okay? I don't want the tomato sauce to overwhelm this flavor, okay? This flavor that is just so beautiful, okay? Can you check me out right there? Somebody check me out. You see how much sauce I'm putting on there, right? All right, check me out right there. All right, and now let's fix everything this way. All right, can you guys see? Now, let's go ahead and I want to put um, some beautiful cheese on here. We cover this and throw it in the oven. 355 degrees until it's hot and bubbly, okay? And guess what? We don't have to cook it in the oven long. The reason why is because our peppers are pretty much cooked, right? We just want to heat this up and get that cheese nice and melty. And, and, and now, like I said, cover it up though. And I want you to kind of puff up the uh, foil because you don't want the foil to stick to your cheese. So when I say puff it up, just do a number like this. You know, don't, don't, don't make it flat on the cheese, okay? And just press the sides down. But we need cheese first, okay? 
Let's grab our cheese. And hopefully I can find my cheese. Because I tell you what, my refrigerator right now looks like Fred Sanford and Son. <clears throat> I got so much stuff going on in there. I, I, I wasn't going to be surprised if I went in there and couldn't find the cheese. All right, look at that. Get you some on top if you want a lot. You know, that's your business. <laughs> if you want a little bit, that's your business too. All right. Come on in. Oh, this is so tasty. Oh, my goodness. Listen what you all have just done. You just made stuffed bell peppers with Gina Young, and you made them Gina Young style. <laughs> Happy birthday to Debbie Parker. Hi, Derek Eads. All right, let's do this. Cover it nice and loosely. You don't have to make it too tight. That's all I'm putting the thing on the foil on. Get it into the oven. Let's let it get hot and bubbly. It doesn't have to cook forever in a day because your peppers are pretty much cooked. Let's get everything hot and bubbly. Now at some point in time we'll come back and we'll take the foil off so we can get our cheese nice and golden brown a little bit, you know. All right, so now's the perfect time. Clean up your area, okay? We're gonna clean up our area together and then I'm gonna turn around, come around in front of the camera and we'll just sit and chit chat for a little while while we wait on our peppers, okay? Yes, that is great. Alyssa says, um, or spray the foil with cooking spray, absolutely. Yes, all right, let's clean up together. Excuse me once again for the coughing. And thank you all for totally understanding, you know? Definitely appreciate you guys. I am gonna make a, up a drink. I, we don't have any pop today. Or I, I think we have something in there to drink. It's like a a peach drink, but I don't think that's what my husband wants. So I figured I'd go ahead and make up a nice batch of tang. We all love tang here at the Young's house, so that's what I'm going to make up. Some good old tang. Okay, cleaning my kitchen up just like so. And then I'll read a couple of messages. Okay, can, it, can you guys tell me, is everybody doing okay? Everybody feeling okay? Are you guys moving in the right direction? All right. How you guys doing? Jeannie Young style is the only way. <laughs> I make it, trust me. Um, because once you do a Jeannie Young style, you will forget all about how you used to do it. Thank you, Z, Z, Z Xander D Dog. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, let's see. I'm getting a message. There's someone in my driveway. And let me look in the security system in my phone. Should be my husband pulling up. All right, I'm just rinsing my spoon off here. Uh, here's what I want you guys to do. I hope everybody's listening. Go ahead and let's... Sorry, guys. Let's turn the oven on 375, okay? So just a little change in plans. 375, all right? Oh, you love Tang, too. That's all your mother... Now, I didn't have it at my actual house. But my grandma Lucille's house, she always had tang, and I loved it. So now that I'm older, I purchase it for my family, and they love it. 
So it's a great drink to have around, and believe it or not, this has a whole lot of vitamin C in it. So we keep a, keep, so we keep a whole lot of this. That's Dakota waving at me. <laughs> he came in. He's sweaty. He's sweaty, and he's in the house. All right, I'm going to put in. This is already sweetened. All right. Make sure your oven is on 375. Earlier, I did say we were going to put it on uh, 355, but go ahead and yank it up to 375. And make sure you have the foil on it, OK? All right, clean up your kitchen. Now's the perfect time. You might see me smiling, guys. Yeah, I see you smiling. <laughs> you see I know, me smiling? Oh, I'm smiling at my husband. <laughs> I'm smiling at you. <laughs> he, he said, I see you smiling. I'm smiling at him. <laughs> you got me smiling. <laughs> oh, guys, I love him so much. I love him so much. <laughs> Happy belated birthday. Derek Eads, yes, happy belated birthday. You want this cup? Okay. You want ice? Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, I'm just mixing. I'm just mixing together my tang here. You want to take them out to pee pee, see if they've got to go use the bathroom? Okay, everybody, so now, here in about 0 0.2 seconds, I'm coming around in front of the camera, and I will be available to answer any questions in the chit-chat until our food is done. And listen, when our food is done, we're going to say a prayer, we're going to eat together, and we're going to chat for as long as you guys want to chat, okay? Or until I get too tired, okay? <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. I really didn't see who gave it. Oh, Margaret, Margaret Richardson, thank you. How great, thank you. Oh, that was so nice. Uh-oh, I can't, okay, there we go. Happy belated birthday. Margaret, thank you for the super chat. All right, I'm going to taste my tang because I need to taste it. Oh, yes. Uh-huh, that's just what I'm looking for. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> it tastes so good. It kind of reminds me of Sunny Delight, but it's not thick. You know, this is like thin consistency like juice is, but Sunny Delight is kind of thick. But this right here is beautiful. Okay, I'm coming around, guys. And you know what? Honestly, the house, the house smells so good. <laughs> the house is smelling good already. All right, all right, all right. I'm coming around, I'm coming around, I'm coming around. I'm bringing my computer with me. I was looking on the floor because there's a bell pepper on the floor. But I tell you what, I'll be able to get that up a little bit later. I'm not going to go hunting for the broom and get it now. You know? All right, hold on. Oh, I'm plugging in. I'm plugging in all of my goodies here. At some point, I will take the microphone off, okay? All right, guys, you should be able to see me. There I am. Hey, everybody. We're back. Is your stuff in the oven? Somebody let me know how you guys are doing. Is your food in the oven? Just step on it and slip on it. Oh, Lord, I don't want to slip on it, Derek. I do not want to slip on that bell pepper. Maybe I should go get it up. Excuse me. 
Oh, yeah. She said, okay, so listen what she said. She said, Sonia, Christopher, I promise I hardly was, I was hardly ever sick growing up drinking that tang. Well, listen, seriously, I, you wouldn't believe how many packages of the tang we have in our pantry. Like, I purposely bought a lot because it is packed and enriched in vitamin C. It has a whole lot of vitamin C. It's very, you know, it, it does have sugar, of course, you know, but it, it has a lot of vitamin C, and that's why I love it, and I love the flavor as well. I love your harvest decor, says Urka, 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 Urka. How do I pronounce your name? You just, thank you. Valencia says, I love Tang. Derek says, hello to Mildred. <laughs> I just learned how. What, what is she saying she just learned how to do? Dakota, what are you doing? What is that? Okay. Latika, how are you? Let's see. Um, Gina, Gina, can I use the same stuffing to stuff a firm tomato? Ah, uh, let me think about that. Let me let me really think about that. Can you use it to stuff a firm tomato? Uh, I don't know what I'd like to say about that. Um, I haven't tried it, so I have to tell you. Latika says I'm on my way. <laughs> she always says that. I tell her I'm leaving the door open for her, but she never comes. <laughs> um, I don't know what I would say about that because I have not tried it, okay? But what I can tell you is if you don't have the bell pepper, let's just say this. Let's just say you don't have the bell pepper, right? You don't have the bell pepper. What I would say for you to do is I want you to turn around and make the mixture up, right? And after you make the mixture up, scramble about four or five eggs, throw that in the mixture and just eat it like that, like we're going to do or like we like to do, okay? So that's what I suggest for you because I have not tried to stuff the, you know, I haven't tried to stuff the uh, tomato. Although I guess it sounds delicious, but you do have to realize or, or that's not the way I want to say it. We do have to realize that the tomato, once it gets in the oven, it's going to get soggy. You know what I mean? So that's what we kind of got to kind of weigh. You're going to hear the volume leave real quickly because I want to plug in my camera. But then you should be able to hear me right now. You can hear me? I know you can. There's going to be somebody say, I can't hear you. You can hear me. You can hear me. Oh, I didn't turn the whole, what the heck? Okay, hold on, hold on, guys. 24, okay, I turned the wrong button off. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> it's much better. Great, Derek, thank you. Okay. Can hear, says Saj. Okay. I hope Kanye West gets back on his meds. He, let's see, Freddie is saying this. Let's see. I. Oh. Uh, I accidentally get, I accidentally got cream corn. But, oh, no, no. Stephanie, here's the thing. Okay, no, no, don't worry about that. Cream corn is okay. I just have to say it. If you accidentally got cream corn, there's all, it's okay. It's okay, and you don't have to use a whole can. You know what I mean? Gonna be delicious, okay? This is like a foolproof recipe. Like, you can't mess up on it, okay? I promise you're gonna love it with the cream corn, okay? You can hear the fan now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can. You can hear the fan now. Because what the microphone actually does, 
is it takes away background noises. And that, was, that little uh, fuzzy thing that I have on here, this little fuzzy part, that part takes wind, um, you know, rain and water noises and, you know, like the fan. But once I turn it off, you'll hear all the background. You hear the dogs, you hear the waterfall, everything. <laughs> it's like an egg roll made in the Philippines. Oh, yeah. Let me see. It's not, it's not a delay. I'm looking at exactly what you're looking at. Refresh your, refresh your device that you're on. Derek's, Derek is asking if you had COVID, and that's Debbie saying this. Um, I took the test, and the test was negative. So, I don't know. I don't know, but I did lose my, um, I couldn't smell. I just gained my smell back. I, I didn't have any scent. I couldn't smell anything, and I was sick. I mean, I was sick, y'all. You hear me? I was sick as a dog. Whoever made up that phrase, sick as a dog? <laughs> sick as a dog. I don't know. But I don't know. But I tell you one thing. I thank the good Lord for being right there for me, taking care of me and protecting me. Thank you, Derek Eats. Thank you. And uh, we're all doing better. We cough. Um, We've been sanitizing our house 24-7. We sanitize the house a couple of times a day. And then right before we go to bed, we sanitize everything. Refrigerator, you know, the sinks, the doorknobs, uh, you know, the, the island, the chairs at the island, you know, and, and different things. And um, we've been washing all of our bed sheets and pillows and everything a couple times a week. So uh, with God on our side, we will be healed. Thank you. Seven to ten minutes. Well, I was worried about you. I'm sure others were, too. We all love you and miss you, Gina. Thank you so much, Derek. I love you, too. Yes, and I thank you all for your prayers, your messages, your kind messages, your prayers and everything. See, she says her first test was negative, but then she took another test and it was positive. So what we did, we took an at-home test. It was negative. And then I went to Walgreens and took um, the rapid test, and it was negative. So I just don't know, you know? Yes, Ashley, thank you so much. Oh, yes, I hope uh, Heidi does feel better. I didn't see her message, but I'm seeing someone saying they hope she feels better. Now, is my lighting okay? I see that it's kind of funky right now, right? Oh, that's a good light right there if I turn the light away from me. But then I'm turning the light. I got the light outside. Let's see. Let's try it. I think that, is that good lighting? <clears throat> oh, you find the fan sound to be relaxing. Okay, great. God is a healer, Paula. Thank you. Absolutely. And Joel, thank you for coming in. What time do you usually start your videos? And do you usually have everything? Okay, let me read your, your message again, Tina. Tina says, what time do you usually start your videos? And do you usually have everything have? Okay, so maybe you can message me again, but what I will tell you is my videos, um, the cooking videos may vary, but now the lives, on Thursday we do the lives at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and on Saturdays we do the lives at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now listen, on this Saturday, Gina Young is going live, and guess what we're making? For those of you that don't know, I've, I've already said it, but I'm going to be making homemade cookies. We're making homemade chocolate chip cookies, and they are so stinking delicious. They're got, listen, they, oh, listen, they are so good. Now, 
I will be putting like either a um, walnut or pecan in my chocolate chip cookies. But those of you that have a nut allergy, you're not going to use it. You can still make the regular um, recipe and just not put the nuts in it, okay? Listen, this cookie, it's fluffy. It's crispy at the edge, crispy on the top. And the inside is so fluffy and light like a pillow in the inside. And talk about loving a good chocolate chip cookie. You're going to love this recipe. My big cup of soy milk will be ready. <laughs> okay. Yes. I can't wait because I feel like I, I, I feel like I want to do Saturdays live in pajamas. Because <laughs> I'm just making cookies, you know. I can, I can do my face and my hair, take a nice shower, put some pajamas on, and we just sit back and relax in pajamas and just chat it up making cookies. So I feel like the live might be some somewhat like that. Now, don't don't quote me because I don't know if I'm gonna do it that way, but I think that's what I want to do for Saturday. It would be fun, right, Heidi? <laughs> Heidi says we can do it in our jammies. That'd be fun. It would be. <laughs> so I think that's what I'm gonna do. But if I don't, you guys can still come to the live in your jammies. <laughs> Saturday, because here's the thing. Saturday is a day to stay in pajamas. You know, what I do is I get up, I take a shower or a bath or whatever, still do my face and my hair, but put on some clean pajamas afterwards and just relax in pajamas the rest of the day, you know? Yes. Thank you, Sonia. Gina will be live making chocolate chip cookies. Yes, and I'm gonna have, I, I wish, I don't know. I, I was getting ready to say, I don't know. I was, I don't wanna promise you all anything, but what I was gonna say was, I would like to make some homemade eggnog. But we'll just see. You know, you know, um, cause all depending on how I'm feeling. You know, if I'm feeling great, I might turn around and whip up some eggnog in front of you, in front of you all, you know, while my cookies are baking. Well, we'll see. And if not, I might purchase some eggnog, you know? <laughs> Chilling like a villain, says Grace. <laughs> That's what we're gonna be doing on Saturday. That's what we're gonna be doing on Saturday. Oh, Vader says, Gina, your cookies and your homemade ice cream. Oh, see, now you trying to, uh-huh, trying to get me started. You want me to make some, you want me to make some ice cream, huh? It does sound like a lot of fun, Debbie. You said, bring the eggnog, Gina. <laughs> so what I'll do is um, when I post the ingredients, for the cookies, which will be tomorrow. I'll try to post it early too. Um, I'll let you guys know if I'm gonna be making eggnog or if I turn around and say, buy you some eggnog. If not, we can eat milk and cookies together. You know, nothing's never been wrong with milk and cookies, right? Oh, okay, let's see. Uh, Heidi says, you know, I've never had alcohol in my eggnog. I'm going to have to try that sometime. Oh, yeah, you have to try it sometime. Mm -hmm. if, if you drink alcohol, you know. Because uh, I don't. I don't, but they say it's delicious. Um, like, um, some people put bourbon in there, or they'll put, like, rum, uh, you know, like that. And, and it really is just, like, a little tiny bit in there. And it kind of wakens it up and makes it, like, gorgeous, right? So... If you're that person that likes, you think you would like something like that, I think that would be up your alley. <laughs> All right, we're going to be checking in on our uh, peppers here in a minute. And what we're going to do, oh, yeah, you see what Derek says. Derek says you could put vodka in it if you wanted to. Gina, I'm 23. You don't know how much I use your videos for cooking because I be needing help. <laughs> okay, and your name is uh, Woody. Well, thank you, Woody. I'm so glad um, that you use my channel. 
Uh, there's Tyrese. Hello, how are you? Thank you for coming in and joining us. Um, yeah, you could. Okay, Gina, didn't you mention making eggnog ice cream for the holidays? I don't know. I don't know if I did. I may have. I say so many different things, you know. Um, I may have, but I tell you one thing, or I may have told you that I tried eggnog ice cream. Eggnog ice cream is really delicious. Oh, he's, Derek says, I can't wait to learn how to make homemade eggnog. Well, I tell you what, you're going to be excited because um, I have an easy recipe for you for the eggnog. And see, now, um, there is like a, I don't know, a Puerto Rican eggnog, and they call it, what do they call it? Somebody tell me what it's called. It might come to me before you tell me. It's called... Somebody tell me what it's called. But I, I make that, and then I make regular eggnog. I make both, I, and they both they both taste the same. Delic coquito. Yes, coquito. Yes, I love it, I love it, I love it. I actually seen somebody make the coquito, um, and they, they put pistachio pudding mix in it, and I thought that was so interesting. And I thought, wow, this is like, this looks good. <laughs> I, 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 I vaguely remember. I vaguely remember seeing that. I feel like I seen somebody make a quito and they use pistachio pudding mix in their mixture. Now, the eggnog that I make, the eggnog that I make doesn't have any raw eggs in it check me out yes it doesn't have any raw eggs in it he said as raw as they come <laughs> now listen ron i don't put raw eggs in i don't put eggs in my eggnog <laughs> i don't put eggs in my eggnog <laughs> as raw as they come <laughs> All right, so listen, I have a song for you here. Uh, it goes, Stuffed Peppers, okay, I have a song for you. Here it goes, Stuffed Peppers, Ground Beef, Sweet Onion, Garlic Powder, Salt Pepper, Beefaroni, <laughs> Tomato Sauce, Shredded Cheese, Sweet Corn, Pigeon Peas, you name it. Oh, <laughs> you name it. <laughs> yeah, that actually is a song. I guess. <laughs> I didn't know the end was going to say you name it. <laughs> you know that was funny. Okay, Gina, now I'm hot. You said turning my fan on high. See? Turn, yeah, it is hot today. Why is it so hot this evening? It's not hot outside. It's actually nice and cool out there, you know? But, you know, just having the oven on, that'll do it. Apple slider sometime. What's an app? Okay, so somebody says, you're turning your fan on high. Uh, can you make homemade apple slot, slot, apple cider? Oh, I'm, I'm saying slider, and it's cider. Absolutely, I can. I make a hot apple cider, hot caramel apple cider. I'll, I'll make that for you. I made it last year. Um... I'll make the hot caramel apple cider for you, okay? How about that? How I pronounce it? What what was I pronouncing? Was I saying the coquito? <laughs> what are you guys laughing at? So, Sonia, tell me what you guys are laughing at. I would like to learn how to make a quito. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, Heidi. I think it may be hot flashes. <laughs> How about a hot apple pie? Yes, Derek, that sound. Derek, that sound. I love apple pie. And the kind of apple pie that I like is um, I like, to, oh, well, here's what I like to do. I like to have hot apple pie on underneath 
vanilla ice cream. It's the best. It's like when you taste that warm apple pie and you get that cold vanilla ice cream. It's like a match made in heaven, right, Derek? I'm definitely making these. That sounds good. With some vanilla ice cream? Yes. You said sing it. <laughs> oatmeal raisin cookies. That sounds good. My husband likes the oatmeal cookies. Now, he doesn't like raisins. And that's what I like about oatmeal raisin cookies is the raisins, but he don't like raisins. <laughs> so he likes, you know, chocolate chip. Oh, you like my pumpkin spice cinnamon rolls. Oh, yes, Tyrese. Um, yeah, it's a great recipe, isn't it? Oatmeal, chocolate chip. Dakota, what do you got? Do a what? All right. How are we going to celebrate 1 million subs? We have to do something. Oh, Mary Jane, we are going to do something, all right. You hear me? We're going to have, we got to have some type of party. Uh, although, I won't be inviting anybody. <laughs> It'll just be my household, you know. But we got to have some type of party. What you guys, what you guys live, whatever we do, it's going to be fun. Fried apple pies. I, I have made fried apple pies on this channel. But yeah, I feel like that's something I definitely could do for you. Make a fried apple pie. Show you how to make it. Okay, so Ron says, I fixed your pork chops with garlic parmesan and other... Oh, Ron, tell, please tell me more. Tell me if you liked it. My favorite character from Good Times was Lona. She was funny and tough. And she also became Penny's mother. Oh, I'm in Florida too. Fort Myers, horrible. Oh, Lynette, you're in Florida. Oh my goodness, we are still praying for everyone there. I make ice cream without the Oreos. Will it be good? I don't remember if you said it would be okay. Yes, Stephanie, it would be great. Um, just use a little bit more vanilla so you can really uh, bring through that vanilla flavor and it would be delicious. You hear me? Like, trust me, okay? You pronounce it right, Gina. I'm the one who couldn't pronounce it. You good? <laughs> uh, yeah, pumpkin pancakes. Sounds good. I saved that video. Uh, to make the future use. Oh, listen. So I made those pumpkin pancakes the other day. They were so... Here, hold on, here's what we got to do. Let's stop real quick. I want each and every one of you, turn around, take the foil. Let's go take the foil off of our pan, okay? Let's get this cheese to melt so we can eat, okay? So you're going to take the foil off the pan and we're going to come back to the camera and continue to talk until that cheese melts. And the cheese is only going to take about seven minutes to melt, okay? So let's take the foil off. Let's do it right now. Nobody message me until we get the foil off, okay? You're going to have to close these curtains. Okay, guys. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's get out the roller skates for one million. Oh, my goodness, Sonia. Girl, I don't know if I could get on roller skates. I'm telling you, when I was when I was younger, I, I mean, you should have seen me on the roller skates. I was like, woom. I was like, woom. I was like, woom, woom. I mean, I was go I was dipping. I was diving through them, uh, uh, you know, through the skating rink. But I don't feel like I could do it today. 
I don't feel like I could get on skates without falling on my behind. I don't. I don't. Because, let's see. I'd like to say in my thir early 30s, I tried to go roller skating and it was not fun. I had blisters on the bottom of my feet. <laughs> yeah, I did. I had blisters on the bottom of my feet. Gina, do we take the stuffed peppers out now? Okay, no. So what we did was we just took the foil off. Great question. We took the foil off. We're going to let it melt for about seven to eight minutes, and then we'll take it out, okay? All right? Okay, Susie Q says, my family and I go skating every other Saturday, and I love it. Alyssa says, I was pretty good on the roller skates. Oh, was you? Oh, yeah. I'm going to tell everyone to sub up. So, oh, thank you, Mary Jane. That's really nice. Check on the stuffed bell peppers. Yep. Yep, take the foil off. Oh, yeah, Mildred says, okay. Yeah, so we just took the foil off. We're going to go back in and check them in about eight minutes, and then we're going to eat them because everything's done. Remember, we cooked the peppers. All the filling was done. We're just reheating everything up and getting that cheese nice and melty, and it looks good. You hear me? Oh, yeah, Saj. I seen that, too, with the water almost up to the second floor. Oh, Alyssa says, but not now. <laughs> you talk about the skates. That's how I am. I used to be good on the skates, but not now. But listen, when I would go skating, for sure, these stuffed bell peppers going to knock your socks and your clothes off. <laughs> um, so uh, what the heck was it? Oh, what I was going to say is when I turned around and... Um, what the heck was I going to say? Somebody help me. Oh, when I used to go skating. When I was younger. I'd like to say I was in the 6th, 7th, 8th grade. Yeah, 6th, 7th, 8th grade, I'd like to say. I went to go dancing. Yes. So they had like a middle part. And they had an outside part. Not outside. It's all inside. But they had like the part where you skate and then the inside part you could dance. And then they had like a little stage. I would stand on the stage and I would be dancing my heart off. You hear me? I would, be, I, I would get on the skates a lot of times and sometimes. But more than anything, I went there to, to dance. And I had the time of my life. <laughs> I can't believe it. I wasn't shy. <laughs> I wasn't shy when it came to dancing. I, I, I had so much fun at the skating rink. Let's see. Saj says, Karen, scariest part for me is the storm was originally pointed straight. Oh, my goodness. Straight where you live. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Mary says, good idea. You'll sing and dance for us on that day. <laughs> no, I'm not, Mary. <laughs> you make sure you come and join us, but I'm not. I'm not going to. I don't know if I'm going to do that that day. <laughs> Eight minutes. Okay, sounds good, Sonia. Thank you. You got all your homework done. Yes. What? What is it? Okay, you took a bath. Are your clothes ready? Let me see your clothes. Are they ironed? Where's your two black things? I need to wash them. I want to wash them. You put them in the washer and I'll wash them. I wish we could do 80s, 90s theme skating party when you hit a million. Okay, let's see. We would have so much. Listen, I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it fun. You hear me? I am. I am. I'm going to make it fun. And I'm also going to be doing a giveaway for you guys. It's going to be an amazing giveaway. Okay? So you want to make sure when this day happens, when it happens, uh, 
you you want to tune in make sure you tune in because i'm going to be doing a giveaway okay i don't know what kind of giveaway i don't know what i'm going to be giving away but it's going to be nice okay yes it is oh we're going to have fun and don't suzy q i see you i see you saying yes the skates okay okay you know i got the wood floors here let me see y'all y'all see my wood floors don't be surprised if I break out some skates and start skating for y'all. Oh, I could clear it. I could. I could clear this whole. I could clear everything right here. I could clear that whole floor. <laughs> put on a skate. Put on a skating. Put on some skate music. <laughs> Enjoy your day off, Tyree says Sonya. That's very nice. The comments are whipping, yes. Oh, Richard, he says, did I miss the stuffed peppers? You did. Oh, Tyree says, no school tomorrow. It's fair day in Dallas. What is fair day? I wish we could do karaoke. That would be nice. <laughs> Ron says, okay, now, Gina, you talk about skating. You've already fell, fallen down the steps now. Now, be careful now. <laughs> I did. Do you guys remember I fell down the steps? <laughs> I took the thumbnail, and I was at the bottom of the steps, like, I was all broken up. <laughs> oh, it's the Texas State Fair. Is that right? And it's in the, in the fall? What is that? Oh, okay. Look, look, look. Dakota done brought me the skates. So listen, listen. Listen, these are for adults too. Okay, listen. These things right here, they're called razor. Okay. All right, listen, they're called razor. These things right here ain't no joke. These things right here ain't no joke. So what you do, let me show you. These ain't for little kids either. They're not for little kids. I'm serious. Okay, so I put uh, my foot in here. Okay, imagine this is my, imagine this is the back of my heel. Okay, imagine that's the back of my heel, right? And this is where my foot would be. These are for adults. And then you turn around and you, I forgot Dakota had these. And then you turn around and you tighten this over your foot. All you gotta do, listen guys, are y'all looking? All you got to do is lift your foot up like this and you go wheeling. Look, 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 look at the wheels. Look at the wheels. All you got to do. So if I put the tip of my foot down, I stop. They're kind of like heelys. But if you lift the top of your foot up, you go zooming across the floor. <laughs> what? <Am I? laughs> okay, so I have these. I have them. These things cost a lot of money. You hear me? These things cost a lot of money. And they show you right here where it says left and right foot. And then guess what? Underneath here, they have these things. I didn't let Dakota have the things. But um, when you're on the sidewalk or you're in the street, they have these things that you can put in here that makes uh, fire, or, or not fire, I'm sorry, sparks come out the back, and if you're going fast enough on the cement, sparks come out. But I told him that in the type of neighborhood we live in, I don't want him to mess up the sidewalks, you know, or anything. So I took this part where he can use the sparks. But these right here, if we do, if we, if we do, y'all remind me that we have these in the house, okay? Remind me. And outside shoe. So they're gonna fit my little shoe or any adult size. So if you have kids, like um, for Christmas, they might like something like this. They are called the razor. <laughs> they ain't no joke either. I hope no, <laughs> who is that, Christopher? He said, I hope nobody goes to the hospital. <laughs> she said, put them on, Gina, you got this. Oh, Sonia, I'm not putting them on right now. Oh, girl, <laughs> I ain't putting them on right now. All right, listen, it's time. It is time to take our stuff out the oven. Let's do it together, okay? 
Let's do this together. All right, all right. I need to know. Dakota, you gotta fix this camera so they can see the food. Oh, we got the hoverboard. We got a hoverboard too. You can do that. There's two hoverboards. Oh, yeah. Is your, I'll plug your hoverboard in. Plug it in real quick. Plug it in real quick. They wanna see something. Okay, let's take our stuff out the oven right now, guys. Oh my goodness. Look here. Dakota, tell me if the food is in the camera. Dakota, tell me if the food is in the camera. I need them to see what we got going on here. It is. It is? How about it? How about it? This right here? Oh, this is gorgeous. And guess what? It's even good for leftovers. So don't you think that tomorrow this won't be delicious. This is even more delicious tomorrow. Okay, so I'm going to put it on a plate. After I get this onto a plate, I'm going to pour me up a little bit of tang. And we're going to say an amazing prayer. And you all get to taste it. You get to taste it. All right, we're going to say a prayer. Can you come in on me, Dakota? Come in on me with the camera. Which one? Which one? Which one, guys? Which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? Oh, I, you know what? I think this one. Ooh, that one right there. Oh, that one right there. Child is calling my name. Ooh, wait. Now, there are some people that like to load on the tomato sauce. And if you're that person, hey, load it on, okay? So now, what I'm going to do is the reason why I like to put the tomato sauce in the bottom. Come in, come in, so they can see. Look at this. Look at that. Oh, you can do that. Oh, you bet you can. Look at this. All right? Show them that one more time. Show them that one more time. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this open. Right? And I wanna show you what the inside of our pepper looks like. All right. Having fun here at the Young's house. Come on in. Now, let me show you this. I gotta show you. And while I show you, I'm gonna be saying a good old prayer. And, and guess what? Look at me, look at me. Come on up and look at me. The pepper is soft. Problem was solved. Remember I told you you don't want no hard peppers. The inside is done, but the pepper was hard. It's because they didn't boil their pepper first. Boil the pepper first, okay? Problem solved, come on in. Oh my goodness. Ooh -wee. Listen, you ain't had it, Gina Young style. Open that baby up, look at it. Can they see that? Are the comments going nuts right now? The comments are going absolutely nuts. We're gonna say a prayer. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, I wanna thank you for every single person in this chat today. I pray that you bless over their lives, that you keep them safe, that you take care of them, that no weapons formed against them shall prosper. I pray that you bless over their health and their finances in Jesus Christ's name. Give them a peace of mind in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, we know that with God on our side, all things is possible. We can and we will do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy. Thank you, Jesus, for your understanding. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for the roof over our head, the food, the love, the peace and the joy you bring us today. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. I'm coming around. I'm coming around, but not until... I grab some tang, all right? All right, we're gonna get some ice. I'm gonna grab some tang. Looky, looky. Get a cookie. <laughs> get excited. <laughs> I am excited. All right, you got that plugged up, Carla? I'm coming around, guys. Tell me what's 
Simon is too. You're going to show that to them. for coughing, everybody. Amen. Once again, to my beautiful prayer, I love you guys. All right, let's take a look. Oh, that right there. That's what I want my stuffed bell pepper to look like. You bet I do. Oh, my goodness. Ask your dad, is he ready to eat? He, he might be ready to eat. That's the tang. Oh, it's good too. Oh my God, I don't even want to sit down. Let me see if my husband says he wants some tang, uh, some uh, some food. I'm gonna make him a plate and then I'll be right back to talk to you guys. So let's see. <laughs> Put them things back on, Sonia. <laughs> That's what Ron says. Hallelujah. Love the prayer. Thank you, Gina. Sure needed that. Absolutely, Tyrese. No problem. Thank you. What do you say? Okay. Can I have a plate? Absolutely you can. Girl, my goodness. <laughs> Don't hurt them with this dish. <laughs> All right, so here's the tang. Cheers to us. I haven't seen orange tang since I was little. Make you get you some. Get you some. You know they got it in the Kool-Aid section. Delicious. Packed with vitamin C, believe it or not. I'm giving you guys that first bite. Somebody let me know they cooked with me today. How your recipe is. You're going to love it. The skates, uh-huh, you found them on Amazon, uh-huh. Something in that prayer you said was for me. You bet it was. Is that, what's your name? Sharon Scott, absolutely. The prayer is for you and for all of us. And I'm so serious. I'm so serious. I say a prayer before the live. I say a prayer before we eat. And I mean that prayer, you know? Mm, mm, mm. Mm, 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 mm. Look at this. Come on and look at this. I'm tasting it. Mm. 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 Mm hmm. That right there. Mmm. Lily says, I cook with you, Dina. I love this. Mmm. Mildred says, it's good. It's good. <laughs> Thank you. And that bell pepper right there is, is so juicy. I just love your fall decorations. Do you go to Michael's or Joanne's craft store? Um, I don't. I purchased those off of Amazon. Those little leaves, I purchased them off of Amazon and I've had them for several years, you know. Mmm. Mm-hmm. A lot of flavor in this bell pepper here. If you love peppers, you love rice, you're gonna, and you love cheese, you are gonna devour this right here. Mmm. That's just a a spoonful of the filling. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm -hmm. I taste those beans in there. Mm. So delicious. Listen, that pepper is nice and sweet. The rice is gorgeous. And then you get these little pieces of corn that's in there. Look at that. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hi, 
Hobby Lobby. It does. Oh, yeah, um, Tyrese, I get a lot of holiday stuff from Amazon, you know. Oh, yeah. And my little pumpkins that's over there on the counter, they came from Amazon. I love, guys, I love Amazon. <laughs> I do. Mm. See, I love, love, love the fact that I learned how to boil the bell pepper before stuffing it. See how I just slice down into that pepper? This is so good. If you don't use too much tomato sauce and you don't use too much cheese, you will totally enjoy this. I feel like some people, they make this and they, and they like devour it by putting too much tomato sauce. Mmm. Well, you see, we put just a little bit on top because I wanted to be able to taste those flavors that we put together with the rice and the beans and the corn. And you can really taste it. It shines through. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mm-hmm. And like I said, the pepper is nice and soft. I can't wait for your holiday recipes. Oh, listen, when it comes to the holiday recipes, we're gonna have a good time. Look at this. Mm. <laughs> I'm so happy right now. Mm. I'm so happy. Nate Dog is in the house. How are you, Nate? Side you okay? You driving this time, says Christopher. No side salad today. I didn't make a side salad today. But you are more than welcome to make one. Mm, 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 mm. This thing right here. Hold on, I'm getting a notification that detected a vehicle in the, in the driveway. Let's see who you are. Oh, it's our car. <laughs> I don't know why they do that sometimes. It just reminds us that there is a car in the driveway. <laughs> I need to get that in the garage. Mm, 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 mm. I'm talking about good. Mm. Mm hmm He said, Amazon got it going on. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Mm, 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 mm. Show y'all my plate. I'm gonna show y'all my plate here in just a second. You ain't gonna believe it. Cause I'm gonna tell you. Mm, 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 mm. I mean, like, I can't eat the whole thing. But I'm dang sure that I could. Look, the rest is gone. I tell you what, I enjoyed that baby. Mm. And you know what? When you think about it, it was healthy. It was easy. Not hard to make. And didn't cost us a lot to make. Making me hungry again. Oh, you said they're having an early Black Friday. Is that right? He said, we hear you scraping it up. <laughs> Dakota, please give me a paper towel. Okay, let me see the hoverboard. Mm -hmm. 
I'm actually gonna have you, is it, is it, show, show them this hoverboard. Okay, so he's gonna show y'all, this is Dakota's hoverboard. There's his hoverboard, right? This hoverboard has, turn it, turn it this way. This hoverboard has Bluetooth on it. You can be like going down the street, jamming on the Bluetooth on this hoverboard. <laughs> right, he's gonna show y'all how he works the hoverboard. You know, some people like to ask me, what is that black thing right there uh, behind my door? It's a, it's a tall tripod. I think some people thought it was something, but it wasn't, it's a tripod. So a lot of people like to say, what it? Why you got that behind your door? It's a tripod. It's a tripod for the camera. That's what that is. Okay, look. <coughs> okay, so we are gonna watch Dakota. Hold on, I'm gonna have to just, how am I gonna record you? Good question. Um, weighing it down. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna, let me turn the camera the other way and then, okay. I'll, and then, I'll, and then I'll come back around. Hold on, guys. Okay, Dakota, you need to come over here. Over here and do it. And move the chair. Oh, and I ain't got enough charge yet? Nope. Okay, he's got to charge it. Okay, so charge it up. Because I want him to show y'all something on this hoverboard. He's going to have to show me how to do the hoverboard before we get to Amelia. Because I was outside. I just have to tell you the story. I tried to stand on it. My husband tried to stand on it. I almost did the splits on the thing. I was holding on, I was holding on to my husband, I was holding on to Dakota, and I still felt like I was getting ready to fall. I felt like I was flying, at, and I, I felt like I was just flying in the air. <laughs> and I was dizzy, and that thing kept spinning on me. It kept spinning around, and I'm going in circles. So I'm gonna have to learn how to do it before we have our little party. I need that paper towel, Dakota. <laughs> Mary Jean said, I tried it and I couldn't do it. <laughs> yeah, it's difficult. I guess you have to figure out how to balance yourself. You said, no, ma'am. <laughs> Who is that? This is that. Uh, Juice Miller, no, ma'am. <laughs> I have three. My sons rise them all the time and I'm scared to ride. Yeah, you can install handlebar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can. <laughs> Dakota, he spit, he spit his juice everywhere. Dakota, get a paper towel. Get a paper towel. <laughs> he, he's laughing. He's laughing because you said you can install handlebars on it. He spit his juice out. Yeah, Ron said he left his. He said I left mine at the store. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. He said they have them now with handlebars. <laughs> it just sounds so funny to him because he finds it so easy to ride it. <laughs> Ron, Ron said, I left mine at the store. <laughs> they talk about the hoverboard, honey. <laughs> I know that's right. I left mine at the store, too. My husband said, I know that's right. He said, I left mine at the store, too. <laughs> Dakota can't stop laughing. Because he... My husband, my husband just said, I tried to write that thing one time. Uh-uh, uh-uh. <laughs> Dakota can't stop laughing. <laughs> and, and here's the thing. I, I have coordination. Like, I'm coordinated. But when it comes to the hoverboard, it, it's, it's, it's a little tricky. It's a little tricky. Dakota, oh my gosh, you got orange juice everywhere. 
You need to use hot soapy water. You can't just wipe it. <laughs> Sonia said, I'd rather use roller skates instead of being on the hoverboard. <laughs> he said, and knee pads. <laughs> Thank you, Diana. You said you're glad I'm feeling better. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining us, Diana. Okay, listen, guys. So, I hope y'all enjoyed this live today. I hope you enjoyed the uh, stuffed bell peppers. I have a lot more of these lives coming, coming at you. Saturday, we're going to have the time of our lives. Like I said, it might be a situation where I come in in pajamas, and we're cooking uh, up chocolate chip cookies on Saturday, okay? But it'll definitely be at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and what I'm going to do is I'll post the ingredients for your chocolate chip cookies early, early as I can. If, if the latest that I'm going to post it is like afternoon time, because I want you guys to have um, enough time to go out and purchase your ingredients for your cookies, okay? And listen, I just have to chime in and say this really quickly. If you're a person that you may be afraid to make um, homemade cookies, or you just, you don't have the energy, or you know, you're not, not too sure how to do it, you guess what you can do? You can, you can still make cookies with us, because guess what you can do? You can purchase the cookies that's in the tube, you slice them babies and bake them in the oven, and then we can still eat cookies together, you know what I mean? So that would be like totally fun, okay? So for the people that would love to make homemade cookies with me, get your ingredients. I'll, I'll, I'll put the post up in the community tab. And then the people that not too sure about how to make them and if you can do it right or whatever, um, just get you a packet. Get you a packet of the pre-made cookie dough. Roll them babies up or slice them and throw them in the oven. When I throw mine's in, we'll still be able to eat cookies together. Okay, that, that sounds good. You're gone. Okay, Christopher, thank you for coming in. Sounds good, right? Yes, it does. I had a lot of fun with you guys today. Dakota, don't do that no more. He's still laughing. He's still laughing. It ain't funny no more. <laughs> it is a great idea, right, Valencia? I'm doing okay, Kim, uh, Nurley. Thank you for coming in and joining us. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get off of here. Thank you, R. Thank you all for coming in and joining me today. Um, all right. It's never, ever goodbye. It's I'll see you again later, okay? Because I'm definitely going to see you Saturday. So, um, you guys be safe. I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. I'm not going to get off of here without giving you all a big hug. Give me a hug, everybody. Thank you all to the moderators, to Sonia and Ron Wilson. Thank you guys so much for being so helpful. Oh, okay. Is it working, Dakota? Okay. But you can show them next time, okay? You can show them Saturday. All right. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you on Saturday, okay? I'm not sure about um, tomorrow's video. We'll see. I might have a video or two coming at you tomorrow. But we'll just see, okay? And as always, God bless you all. Thank you all for watching. Good night. I love you guys. I'll see you all Saturday, okay? <laughs>